calculation block. Calculation block can be used to set different values to internal or global variables or to different uh, user inputs. Let's take a look at one example of how we can use the calculation block. In this case, we want to replace the repetition block with the if block that checks for the value of the variable called counter and we will use the calculation block to actually count up. In this case, here on the right side, in the first text field we need to select the variable that the value will be stored to and here in the bottom we can write any formula or anything that we want to store into that variable. In our case, we want to actually count up, so we need to sum the current value of the counter and the value of 1. So counter plus 1 each time the calculation block is executed. This will allow us to actually count two times until uh, while the counter value is lower than 3 and then continue down this path. Let's take a look. Cycle 2, yeah. Cycle 3. And test finish. We're done. Okay. That is one way we can use the calculation block. Let's take a look at another, a bit more complicated example. Here, in this case, we will actually use different variables to create a file name for our data file. So, if we quickly go into the sequencer variables, in the settings, we can see that we use different variable types in here. So, we use a few different variables that are of the text type and one that is a float type. So, in our case, we want to use the first three, so tester brand and prop size, to create a custom file name that will be stored in the variable called file name. Here, in the calculation block, we can see that we want to store the following text into the file name. So, first we want to store the fixed, the fixed text that we have to place into double quotes so in our case propeller test and minus. Then we want to use one of the advanced functions that can be selected from the list down here. In our case we just want to use the option to, to store the date and time. And then we need to concatenate that uh, with the brand, prop size and tester using the plus signs in between them. That actually concatenates different texts together into one longer text. At the end, of course, we need to also have the file extension and we will place the .dxd in double quotes again to have that. Let's try that. Let's play the sequence. OK. Here the foreign block asks us for different inputs. And if we continue, we can see that the data file name is actually made from all those different options or different variables that we selected in the calculation block. So fixed text propeller test and then current date and time and a few data from the form block that was stored in different variables.